um, YouTube, please. All right. Thank you. All right. You're welcome. So we go to my screen. And the first thing you want to do is you want to go to your Play Store. You have a phone, go to your Play Store. And then you're going to search for what is called Ad Manager. AD manager. Interestingly, to run Facebook ads, you don't have to use you don't have to use your Facebook account. Because I already have it on my phone, it's just telling me to update. I'll probably just click on update and see it updated. So that's how it looks like the Facebook ad manager. So I want you to take out your phone right now if you can and download that into your phone. It shouldn't be more than 60 megabytes. This ad manager will enable you to get a lot of things going for you, a lot of things going for you. That's the first thing you want to do. The second thing that you want to do, mine is loading, it's 1% loading. Second thing you want to do, for you to run Facebook ads, you need to have a Facebook page. So I'm going to take you straight up now to my own personal Facebook account and show you the Facebook pages that I have. Um, this is my Facebook account. I'll show you the Facebook pages that I have for you to get to your Facebook page. These three lines, you click on it, uh, and it takes you straight to, I have 35 pages I manage. Uh, 35 pages I manage, all right? So those are my, I click on it, that, and it shows me all the Facebook pages that I manage. Nigerian professional speakers and so on. Podium Data Mix Academy, George Eastern Training Systems. So what that means, and I want you to note this, you can create as many pages for different things. So I have L&E Studios, L&E Studio. There's this person I'm managing, I'm helping her. She's in language, language business. I'm helping her run ads. I used to help her run ads. Our, our name of our team is Language Rising Stars. So this lady who does uh, animation trainings. We help manage her site, uh, page. She calls it, I animate this pastor who wants to promote himself and his ministry, Pastor Ayo. But you are some of the persons we um, we manage. Edis and Steven. We also manage somebody who runs um, STC. I don't know if you know Super Life. Okay, so she, he, we also manage the site for the person. We have two people who we work with in that regard. And then we also have um, Oriflame person who is doing something on Oriflame. Oriflame is also a multi-level marketing. So we, we help manage a number of stuff. So my account manages a number of stuff. So you really cannot run ads unless you have a Facebook page. All right. So here's what I want to do. This is where to click on to create your Facebook page. You click on that and you're good to go. You're good to go. You're good to go. So if you open, um, so basically, if you click on any of these pages, I'm looking at my, you click on any of the pages, you can um, post something and run ads directly on your page. I can post ads on my page. I can post a, you know, a post. I can place a post and then run ads on my page. However, what happens here is that you're only going to be boosting a page. You're only going to be boosting your page. Boosting to boost means that you're looking for post engagement. Like this uh, this post I put um, in 2016, I pinned it to the wall. How a 30 minutes presentation made me a millionaire in Nigeria by George ACN. And then I pinned it to the wall. I put that and it shows that organic reach people that um, I reached out organically, 306%. But people that I reached out through paying, okay, uh, is um, 11,112 people. Usually when you post anything, there's always boost. When you post anything new, there's always boost, boost the post. If you boost the post, it allows the post to reach out to people with outside of your sphere. That is one way to uh, grow your, your business. For Facebook is your Facebook downloader. Another thing you want to download 
is your Facebook downloader. Here's it here. That's how it looks like. And there are many other downloaders that can help you. I think I told you that already. You need to have a Facebook downloader. It will help you download some stuff. Let me show you something I did this morning. Um, well, the, this morning, I posted this video. Um, live, teachers, let me, live teachers, the power of mentors, coaches. I did a Facebook Live, and I have 10 shares, 21 likes. I like it myself. And when I was done with that video, I went to my Facebook downloader, click on Facebook downloader. Because when you do any video Facebook Live, the video is recorded, the video is stored on your Facebook account, whatever it is, you put it on your Facebook page. So I did this on my Facebook page. So you go to your Facebook downloader and uh, let me show you what happens now. I click on these three dotted lines. All right. I want to go to pages. I want to go to pages. And you don't even have to get, um, okay, let's just see how it goes. I'm having some very slow network here. So you go to the page and then from there you download it. I just want to show you how it's downloaded. All right. I think I even had it on my let's let's leave this place. I think I even had it on my on my um on my I I kept it here. So we can also go here. Yes, I, I saved it here. Okay, so this is the video that I shared on my page, on my account, for my page on my account. And um, I just click on the start button. Once I click on the start button, it shows me, do I want to watch it? Do I want to do an audio download of that video? Do I want to do um, an SD? I want to download it into my card, memory card. And if I click on that download, it will start downloading. Do you get it? Now, if you check on my history, you see that I already downloaded it. Sorry. Ah! Sorry. Sorry about that. All right. So, um, if you that's that's to show that I already downloaded it there. And once you download, it gets into this point. If you go to my gallery, I don't think I've deleted it yet. I don't think I've deleted it. It should be there in my gallery. It's stored in my gallery. In the videos I have. All right, so click on the videos. I see there. That's it there. That's it there. So I just showed you simply how to do a Facebook Live. All right, go to your Facebook downloader, download it into your gallery. It's now in my gallery. And to share, I click on share. I want to share it on YouTube. All right, I can easily share it on YouTube. It goes to, I can share it on WhatsApp. Of course, they make the size megabytes higher than WhatsApp. WhatsApp can only take 17 megabytes. Here's my YouTube, I can share it on YouTube. I can share it again on Facebook. I can share it on, on my feed. I can share it on Instagram. I can save it to my Google Drive. Like I have a, everybody has, run an, if you have an Android phone, um, you have a Google Drive. You can also um, put on WordPress. WordPress is my blog. I can put on the blog quickly. I'll teach you that in a short while. I can edit the video. That's in short. I can edit the video and many other things I can do. I can put it on Canva and make it better on Canva. All right. I can do a lot. I can make it my profile video. So much you can do and so on. So that's a very simple way of working with your videos. I do. I did a Facebook Live this morning, downloaded it to my phone, and let me show you in my, in my YouTube that I have studied. I'm going to still teach you again how to do it in case you have issues. And if you've been following me, I've told you severally that you need to have your videos on YouTube 
because you need to have this because uh, when people search for you on YouTube, search for content on YouTube, they'll find you. That's it there. I have 21 views already. How like to just can help you. So every time I do, like I do this um, Zoom, I'll download it. This, this was done yesterday, a day ago, sub-modalities in NLP. I have private students who pay me 100,000 Naira each. And then um, when I do the training, I download from Zoom and I upload here and I copy the link. I'll show you how to copy the link shortly. I think this was what we did a few days ago on how to monetize it. I've already here. I have 20 views, how to write proposals uh, and get clients, 52, you know, 40 ways to make money. These are the three things we did. So I keep uploading videos on my YouTube. I have plenty of videos and most of them were done on Facebook first before I downloaded it and uploaded it on YouTube. And I can share them every now and then. I can share them. I'm doing that. I have close to 300, uh, no, 100 and something videos. Plenty, plenty videos done. Plenty, plenty videos done. So um, I'm saying this to say that um, that's how to grow. I'm doing all of this because I want to be found on, on YouTube. All right. So let's go away from here. Um, and so the next thing I want to talk about, we're coming here, ultimately, Facebook, running Facebook ads. This is what we're coming to, ultimately. Before you start running Facebook ads, there's something you need to understand. You need to understand Facebook advertising policy. If you don't understand Facebook advertising policy, you would have issues. Facebook advertising policy. It's very important that you understand this policy because if you don't understand it, you will have issues. So let's click on the policies. All right. Uh, that's why you, you get to see a few things. Please permit me to read a few things to us. It will help a lot. Before you start running ads, you need to understand and be acquainted with the Facebook advertising policy so that you don't get banned. People complain, oh, my ad was banned, blah, blah, blah. This is why. Um, our, face, our, our advertising policy provides guardians on what types of ad content are allowed. When advertisers place an order, each ad is reviewed against this policy or policies. If you think that your ad was mistakenly disapproved, you can request a review of the decision in account quality, learn more. So I will jump a few things to, to help you create a compliant and user-friendly advert experience. We've had highlighted some common areas of confusion. Click on the link below to learn more about each policy. Personal attributes, sexually suggestive content is a no-no, and Facebook brands a no-no. So our Facebook reviews a lot of it now. So um, they also give you what to do if your ad is disapproved. So what are the prohibited contents on Facebook? You need to be acquainted with that. Um, advert must not violate community standards. Adverts on Instagram must not violate Instagram, com Instagram community guidelines. Illegal product advert must not constitute, facilitate, or promote illegal product, services, or activities. Adverts targeted to minors must not promote product, services, or content that are inappropriate, illegal, or unsafe. All right, we know that discriminative practices, okay? Ads must not discriminate or encourage discrimination against people based on personality or rather on race. Personal attributes such as race, ethnicity, color, national origin, uh, religion, age, sex, sexual orientation, gender, gender identity, family status, disability, medical and genetic, genetic conditions. So that means that you can't run ads even against transgenders. You can't do any of that stuff. All right. You cannot run tobacco related products as you've never seen uh, a cigarette company advertise. You cannot run drugs or drug related products. Ads must not promote the sale or use of illegal prescription or recreational drugs like marijuana, any of these drugs, you can't you can run them. And it also, um, um, even, even pharmaceutical drugs, you cannot run ads on them. Even multi-level marketing supplements, you cannot run ads on them. Adverts must not promote safe, uh, the sale or use of unsafe supplements, okay? See that now? As determined by Facebook as its sole at its source discretion. So we cannot sell weapons and ammunition. You cannot sell 
um, adult products. Ads must not promote the sale or use of adult products or services. Ads promoting sexual or reproductive health products or services such as contraception and family planning must be targeted to people aged 18 and older. So if you're doing anything that has to do um, with um, family planning and contraception, it must be above, or your targeting should be above 18. Adult content is not allowed, all right? Pornography. Um, we also have sensational content. That's number 11. Ads must not contain shocking, sensational, inflammatory, or excessively violent content. It must not, sensational content could also mean um, promises that are sensational. Oh, turn your life around. Um, you know, all those kind of things that we do, especially in multi-level markets. You can do it on your normal page or your normal account or in a group if the group allows it, but you cannot do it when you're doing paid Facebook advertising. Ads must not contain content that assets or implies personal attributes. This includes direct or indirect assertions or implications about a person's race, ethnic religion, origin, religion, beliefs, and so on and so forth. Misinformation Facebook prohibits ads that includes claims debunked by third party fact checkers or in certain circumstances claims debunked by organizations with certain with particular expertise. Advertisers that repeatedly post information deemed to be false may have restrictions placed on the ability to advertise on Facebook. Find out more here. Uh, controversial statements and content cannot is not allowed. I mean, non-functional landing pages. For those of us who are data marketers, this will come in very handy. Advert must not direct people to a non-functional landing page. This includes landing pages that interferes with person, a person's ability to na navigate away from the page, cheating and disgraceful practices, grammar and prof profanity, non-existent functionality, personal health ads must not contain before and after images. You know, some people want to do adverts of before and after. You can't do it on Facebook for Facebook advertising. You can do that on perhaps on YouTube. I don't know about the advertising policy. You can do it on your blog, but not on Facebook. Images or images that contain unexpected or unlikely results, ad content must not imply or attempt to generate negative self-perception in order to promote diet, weight loss, or other health-related products. Uh, pay loans, pay sleep, advance, and bill bonds, all of that is not allowed, okay? Adverts promoting income opportunities. This is also very important. Pay attention to this 21. Multi-level marketing is not allowed. You don't run adverts on multi-level marketing. So the question is, if you don't run adverts on, on multi-level marketing on, on Facebook, what do you do? It's very easy. You sell the education. You can sell the education of multi-level marketing at your fly. You can sell products of the company as long as they're they not they're not violating Facebook adverts, adverts uh, policy and they fly. Adverts promoting income opportunities must fully adverts promoting income opportunities must fully describe the associated product. Must fully describe the associated product or business model. I must not promote business models offering quick compensation for little investment, including multi-level marketing opportunities. You've got to be careful about that. Be very careful. Ad may not promote penny auctions, bidding of free auctions, or other similar business models, and so on and so forth. Spyware, malware, automation, auto automatic automations allowed unacceptable business practices circumventing the system, you know. Financial products, that's 29 ads, must not promote financial products and services that are frequently associated with misleading or deceptive promotional practices, sales of body parts, vaccine discouragement. So these are, you need to take your time and study this so that you don't make mistakes, you don't make uh, mistakes and on and on. So we've done a quick review of the Facebook ads policy. Now let's get to the Facebook ad itself, app itself. If you already have a page connected, you will not, and you have this, it will just link it up immediately. But if you don't have a page, it will request that you do. So this is an account, we just created an account recently for the purpose of this, okay? So here we have um, 
a few things. You see that if you click here, you have your account, and this account is active. You can create a campaign. The billing here means you can you could, if you click on billing, you put in your um, ATM card, your your Mastercard. It's going to show now. Okay, so it's a problem here. All right. So basically, um, you have the account overview. You have create ad. You have draft. You have compare. We have not created any ads in this stuff. So you can either click create ad, click on create ad, or click on plus. Let's click on create ad. All right. Please review our non discrimination policy to avoid disruption of your ads campaign. Please review and accept policy as soon as possible. Let's click on review. Hopefully, we should not have issues with our ads. All right. Let's let's go to so basically before we review that and click on that, I want to show you this. So you have create new, you have duplicate, you have draft. When it comes to Facebook advertising, there are you have these options. You have what we call it your marketing objective. This is the key to success when it comes to Facebook advertising, you must determine your marketing objective. What do you want to achieve? For some people, it is post engagement. That's like, if you go on your Facebook page and you put a post there and you click on boost posts, that's what you're doing. You're doing post engagement. People will like it, people will comment. You have a lot of people interacting with your posts. It doesn't always lead to conversions. It doesn't always lead to you getting um, results, people buying your product. Of course, you have a lot of conversations in that post engagement. It has its own strengths and it has its own weakness. The next uh, marketing objective is video views. You can upload a video, and the purpose of uploading the video is for people to view it. You just run it and add on your video, like I do sometimes. I run an ad so that people can see it all over the world and you know, make it very popular. Promote your video to get people's attention. You can click on that. Now the thing about um, the phone, we have done it severally. We realized that it's very difficult to upload your video or video and run ads with your phone. You need to use a laptop to do that. We've tried that. What I do a lot of times is website traffic. I uh, send more people because you see, I believe so much in the link, the funnel system. So in this website traffic part, when you click on it, you're going to put a link, a website, a landing page, an email link, or you can also put a WhatsApp group link. A lot of times when I do ads, I click on website traffic and I put a WhatsApp, I'm gonna do that shortly. I put a WhatsApp group link. And then if I wanna reach out to a lot of people, I can click on reach, show your ad to a maximum number of people. All right, it's gonna cost me more. If I want people to send me messages on WhatsApp or on uh, Messenger, I click on messages. If I want, one of the things you do when you create your Facebook page is to get as many Facebook likes as possible. The more likes you have, the more people will see your content. So first of all, you want to have a lot of people get involved in liking your page. And then if you have like a thousand or 10,000 or 20,000 or 50,000 people liking your page, you don't need to run ads very often because uh, we're working on those people seeing your ads regularly. You can also promote an event. So like I said, I want to click on, on um, website traffic. Website traffic. If you click on it, it will, it will show you this. It will ask you the question, what media do you want to pitch? What media do you want to put there? What media do you want to put there? So I click on this media. Uh, I want to change the image. I click on change image. And I go to, it will take me straight to my gallery. Uh, what we have there, this is my camera roll. Allow access. So these are the pictures I have on my phone. So I could just use one of them. Let me use my daughter and our teacher. 
I could click on that. Now, another challenge we notice is that, okay, that's a picture I've put there. So don't be first thing now, your, your ad image could be a graphic design you have done on, a graphic design that you have done on, um, you've done on Canva or Corel Draw, you can put it there. All right, I'll teach you how to design simple designs on Canva. You can also just put a picture directly, but your, 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 the media you put out there must talk about whatever it is that you're speaking about. After the image, the next thing is your ad itself. You click on the next part. Now it's telling me here that your image is too small for art. Please choose something larger. So we're going to go back. Um, there is there's a, if, if there's a software called um, a resizing software. All right. So it has a particular way of resizing your software. But let's pick on something else. Let's see if we can pick on something else. An image already familiar. Let's look at something else. Let's see um, something else. Um, something else. Uh, I think it's also very small too. So, but let's see if to accept it. Okay, that's accepted. Now, if you look at the next after the after this first part. After this first part, okay. After this first part, I to do something here. After the next part is your text. That's what we're doing now. So um, we will basically we have the headline. Now, if you attended my class, if you attended my class, I've told you severally that your headline is everything. All right. So you click on that. You click on the headline. Whatever headline we have, we can say get funny for affordable price it could be anything again be careful not to violate the next violate facebook advertisement policy the next part is your primary text your primary text is where your content is put a lot of the content you know the xxx xxx you put in all of that content ccc you know blah 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 blah, blah. that's your copy what we call your sales copy it has to be done well I'm of the opinion that for your primary text, it should be brief. It doesn't have to be long. It should be a short copy, a short um, straight. And the goal of my primary text is to direct people to a website. Now, this is where we have to put the website down. Let me go to um, our WhatsApp group. I bring out, you know, I show you that you can also put in that space can also put in a WhatsApp, a WhatsApp link. All right, let's look at um, Coach B. This is where we are. You go here and then you go to invite link, click on invite link, and then you copy it. So I've copied it. I go back to my ad manager. Oh, oops, I can see good. Oh, I have to start all over again, but I've copied the invite link. And um, let's see. Okay, resume ad. Okay, it's still there. I resume the ad. I've copied the invite link. It's very easy to do. This is so, so easy to do. Still loading. It's still loading. All right. Uh, okay. 
Okay, are we not supposed to have a picture here? Still loading. Still loading. Okay, so if you followed what it was doing, okay, so we had, um, we don't have an image there, we're gonna put an image. So this website part, we will put in that our, okay, that's our image there. The next thing is, the next part is our, okay. So where we have the website, I will now put in pasting the WhatsApp group. You can't promote a Facebook URL using a WhatsApp link objective. Please edit. Okay, so you're going to have to, we can't do that here now. Let's use, let's say George ACN. George ACN, www.georgeacn.com slash um honey now that that this announcement we just have here is a new development it usually wasn't there you could use you could use your website you could use your whatsapp link but i'm sure they just decided to create something different you can't permit okay then a call to action what call to action do you want to have is this shop now is it learn more is it listen now you can pick up any option that you feel consider consider good shop now all right then you have the special ad category ads related to credit employment no 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 you don't want to do that because we're not doing anything that's related to social issues elections or politics now i can choose to also run the ad on instagram that's there it's giving me an opportunity to, to do that okay i can choose to run i can also choose to make it automatic you know I can choose to run, if I click on that, it takes me to Instagram. We're not doing Instagram today. So we have done the first part. And we're done the second part, the first part. We've done this part. I've done this part, the text. The text is where you have your copy, the image. The next part that you're going to need to do The next part you're going to do is the most important part of Facebook advertising is the third part, and that's this one, where you have um, your audience, your audience. Who should see your ads? That's the question. If you get it wrong here, you get it totally wrong in Facebook advertising. Who should see your ads? Do you want people that have liked your page? Obviously not, because they would have liked your page already on your page. You don't want them to see it. Do you know people that like your page and their friends? Yes, that's what we want. All right, we can click on show more. People who engaged with your page, people who engage with your ads or posts. You see, if you have, there's something called retargeting in Facebook advertising. If you're, if you're doing Facebook ads regularly, you would rather click on this second like your page and their friends. You can click on other ones like people who engage with your page. Maybe somebody made a conversation on that page that I'm interested in the honey, he posted it, he, he typed and posted it. You can, in the next ad you're running, click on that. So everybody that's ever engaged your, uh, made a comment or like, will see the ad a second time. We call it retargeting. People will engage with your ads or posts, all of that, you can use that. The next important thing you want, you want to create an audience. You want to create the audience, your ideal audience. Is when it comes to digital marketing, you need to have a target. Who are your ideal audience? What audience really needs to see what you are um, selling or what you're promoting? The question at the back of your mind is, where is your location? Now, we already have here um, telling us that it, 
um, America? No, we don't want Americans. The location is not America. Our location, first of all, is not America. So we edit, we remove that. We don't want that. We don't want America. We need to put in location. Now, if you're a Nigerian, you can put Nigeria, but you see, that's not specific enough. Now, let me start, let me tell you what I'll do. Uh, I'm in New York, a quiet one, so I'll put, I want people in New York to see it. It gives me the options. So there's Uyo, Nigeria as a city. There's Uyo streets, Otakot River State. There's Eket, Uyo, there are many options. So where do I want? I want the city to see it. Okay, it's thought. I want people in Calabar. Calabar is a next door. It's an hour from here. Calabar, Nigeria. So we have Calabar as a city. We have Calabar as a sub city. We have Calabar as a neighborhood. We have Calabar, Abba, Abia, Abia State, Nigeria. So we have Calabar in Abba, in Abia, that, that may be a street or something. So, but I want Calabar City to see it. So I put Calabar City. I want Abia to see it, people in Abia to see it. Okay, Abia, Nigeria as a region. Or there's Abia Lane. Okay, so I want to see people that Abia as a, a sub city. Yes. Okay. Uh oh, no. No, I don't want Democratic Republic of Congo. No, no, sir. I don't want you. I want the Abia in Nigeria. Abia in Nigeria. So basically, my goal is to do that Abia Nigeria as a region. Yeah. Um, I go to I want people in Abuja. Abuja people have money, right? Abuja, there's plenty of Abuja. There's even Abuja Crest. There's Abuja in Adamawa. So I want Abuja City. When I call place, I know people apply to Lagos. And if you're in Lagos, you want to target only Lagos. You can only target, there's Lagos in Portugal too. Can you imagine that? Wow. So um, I want Lagos, Nigeria. He showed me Lagos, he could do. Oh, lots of, okay, Lagos, Nigeria as a city. I can even go specific with Lagos. All right, I can put um, Ikorodu as my place. Ikorodu, Shagamu, Ebute Ikorodu. Uh, let's say Ikorodu Shagamu. It will give me an indication. It tell me okay. Ikorodu, wow. Um, and on and on. I want people in Ilori to see my art. Okay, Ilori City as a Ilori Nigeria. Clicked on that. So you, you can enjoy this. Once I'm done with all the cities I want to see, of course, you can put Nigeria, all right? And that will cover, you can put Ghana. But when it comes to Facebook, you want to be as specific as specific can be. You want to target, you know, look at states that have resources like um, Lagos, Abuja, Port Harcourt. Once you're done, sometimes you can just put a city and you go to their towns. Facebook will bring out all those things for you. Once you're done with the location, you click on yes, you're good to go. Now, the next thing that it will show you is which locations you want to exclude. There are certain times you don't want to, certain people to see it. So you can exclude locations, all right? The next important thing is your age. You have between 13 years to 65 years. Um, for the kind of thing we're selling, 13 are not, I, I usually will put in from 20, 2018, Okay, to 55. You can run to 55. You can run your ass like that. All right? All men and women. The next most important thing that is very, very vital is their interest. You want to add demographics and the interest. You click on detailed targeting and go specifically into what interest. So while discussing honey, so let's look at um, health. Some things will appear. We have healthcare, health administration, health magazine. Uh, as a business, we have over 407, 447 million people on Facebook who have liked or talked about healthcare as a business and industry. You can look at it as so a health, healthy diet. So I'll click on that. And um, um, health, health and wellness, I also click on that. Anybody that, that is there. World Health Organization, health, health and beauty page, 
at names. That's because of the, the subject matter I'm looking at. I look at um, medical doctors, uh, medical doctors, medical doctors. Let's see. Okay. MDs, job titles. We have only 21,400 people who are on Facebook who say they are medical doctors. So you, you, you keep clicking like that. Um, they say Honey also has those stuff with skincare. So look at skincare. So you keep typing the demographics, be as field of study, you know, employers, labor, you know, that are putting their details. You can put in as much information as specific as specific can be, and then you accept it. All right. You can exclude people from seeing what you're looking for. Once you're done with that, you have created your audience. You move to the next level. The last level is the, is the billing level. Is where you put in your, your card or how much. You have to select a currency, okay? Um, for us here, Nigerian Naira is what we are using. So, a good. Our time zone also, um, you can work on the time, select the time zone, okay? It's already there. Do you want to, how often do you want to keep running the ads on and on and on? In those days, you could do ads for as low as, in under campaign budget to see daily lifetime, you can keep running the ads on and on and on, all right? Uh, in those days, you used to have less than $500, but now it's 995 Naira for an ad. You can increase it by clicking on the plus sign to per day, that's per day, so increase it per day. Research has it that um, for you to get real results, you should be doing at least at least five thousand a day to get quality results. But for people who come to me, I tell them, okay, start with at least two thousand plus a day. This is good a day to reach out to a lot of people. And your schedule, you don't want to run it continuously, okay? You want to say you want to start later. I want to start now. Uh, is this seven days? I told you that your ads will run until March 20th, 2021. You will spend up to 20,000. Okay, I don't want to spend up to that. I want to do less than I want to just do a test run for two days. I see. So I'm going to spend okay, I'm going to spend 5,979. Once I'm done, I click. And it will tell me to go and put my, it will review the order. Review the order. I'm good to go. Now, bear in mind, I, have, I can't run these ads because I have, you know, we didn't put our stuff. But it's even telling me right now that see more errors. Okay. I have not put, okay, I've not put a payment method here. How do I do that? It's very easy. Okay. I want to save this first. Save as a draft. That's actually as it's as simple as simple can be. Okay. So uh, basically, if I go here, I go to billing and I put my card. It should load. All right. We couldn't complete the request. Please try again later. All right. It should load. Uh, it, it should load. I'm, I'm having network issues here. This should load. All right. So if I have that kind of situation, what I'll do is that I'll go to the computer, get to that point, and then put my card pin. But I'm sure that if you try yours, these three dozen lines close to judges here, you should be able to click on billing, then put your card. You should card, put your card number. It should load with you. All right. And um, here you see all pages. I only put one page here. You can add more pages, right? And so on and so forth. So this is my draft here. The one we just did. We just did. If if I did the ads properly, it will tell me after review order. It will tell me click on run. 
Once you click on run, the next thing that happens is that Facebook will give you some time. It will tell you, okay, it is going for approval. You know, they'll tell you, we are going to take it for approval. And usually it takes between one to, between 10 minutes to one full day to approve it. If it goes through the Facebook advertising policy, your ad begins to run. You now see it's sponsored ad. Does it make sense to you? All right. So that's how to run Facebook advertisement. I want you to go and try it. All right. So once you do this, I click on this part. It will, um, it will just tell you. You can run the ads immediately. Now, telling me, see more errors, okay? That's because we're not putting our payment method, but once if the payment method was there, you, it play, place order would appear. You click on place order, and then your money is debited. Your money may not be debited. Usually, uh, Facebook will finish the advert before they, they debit you. So that's a simple way to run Facebook ads. Um, that's just the basic way. Um, if you have any questions, I'd like to hear it now. That was the basic way of running Facebook ads. Let me take some questions now. That's the basic way to run Facebook ads. There are a few things that I will teach you and help you understand so that you can maximize, you can maximize your advertising. Uh, but I showed you, I want everybody to download the ad manager. I want everybody to go and try, give it a shot. You know, um, you can even boost the post from your ad manager. You can boost the video, give it a shot, make a mistake, and report to me about the mistakes you made. Don't forget to add your, your card. Okay, what cards will be used? You need to have a MasterCard. A MasterCard or a Visa card will fly. Put in your card number, your CVV number, your expiry date, and then you're good to start it there. And then you should always have money in your account so that whenever they want to debit, they can debit you. Um, so Facebook ads will run for the number of days. After the number of days, it will expire. So that's basically how to run Facebook ads. You can use it for your business, for trading. Uh, let me show you. Okay, which of the, which of the objectives use better results? Like I was trying to do um, directing people to my landing page because one of the things I believe is that people don't really uh, make purchases in the first time they reach see a Facebook ad. Let me see if I can go to Facebook, my Facebook account. Please permit me to go to my Facebook page. Uh, and let me just look at, let's look at some, let's look at some Facebook ads, sponsored ads, what they did, what they are doing right and what they are doing wrong. We'll just go through my Facebook wall. I'm, I want you to also look at it and start observing people, you know, what they are doing right and what they are doing wrong. Excuse me one minute. All right, so go down. Let's hope that we see us. Okay, this look at this is um Lucy Udeme. Look at her the way she's doing her art. She's saying, okay, this is quite long. Attention coaches, courses, creators, experts. Are you currently trying to sell your digital product? If yes, check this out. Introducing the ultimate sales funnel kit. You know, that's her copy there. This is the ultimate solution and shortcut for creating high converting sales funnel, blah, 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 blah. And then, oh, she's doing a long copy. But look at it, say, grab your toolkit here. You know, that's the link. All right. And then she's also creating sign up. You click there, it takes you. So usually, she decided to do a long stuff, and her, her media is an animated stuff. Okay. So let's look at somebody else, what somebody else is doing. Um, somebody else is doing. Uh, uh, this is interesting. When you respect, when people respect you as a person, they admire you. Wow. When they respect you as a friend, they love you. When they respect you as a leader, they follow you. This is amazing. This is one of the senior, it's a senior pastor that is there. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, the new oil well, this is an art, and that's the flyer there. 
sign up. Her goal is to make you sign up for her, um, um, fill your details. So you see that the ads may not be so long. You see, the financial revolution created to empower qualified persons with funds for business and personal projects. The goal of this guy, persons ad, is not necessarily engagement. You see, you just have less than 54 people. I know the lady in question. The, the venue is actually a quiet one. She wants, the person wants you to click on and get signed up with the form, click on the form. So look at ads, people who run ads and see what they do, um, see what they are doing. And it makes sense. Look at the, okay, this, this has to do with Forex. Uh, so look at what they're doing and then we can get to make a lot of sense. All right. Uh, I've not seen that at okay. Discover how to build your own e-commerce store on WhatsApp within without coding in 10 minutes. Can you imagine that? And then the next thing it tells you is, um, are you a smart business owner with desire to grow your online business? Are you looking, questions are powerful when it comes to writing um, copies. Do you know you can now turn your WhatsApp into an e-commerce shop? Then join this next training. Click the link below. You see, people are not trying to, they've just what made you excited. They say, click the link below and or call. That's what you should do. So you're, you're not trying to, this, you're not trying to get them to pay. There's, you're going to have to pay at some point, but they're not telling you to pay anything right now. I'm telling you, click and get more information because you need to have more information. That's why I usually recommend website traffic. You having a landing page or having a directing book to your WhatsApp group so they can you know, have a conversation with you and you can follow up on them. All right, so uh, I've not seen another, okay. Move your money beyond, okay. These are just ads you can run. Now, if, okay, look at this one. Attention parents, featuring how to build your child's self-esteem. See, this one is selling education. Education will always sell. And she's doing a video, all right? And uh, she's using katra.com. See, my katra.com, I, I think I told you about katra.com. I will teach you about katra.com, uh, how you can do stuff. Um, if you don't want to, if you don't want to do if you don't want to spend money on advertisement, you can easily come here. Uh, we can come here to your, where you have your menu and click on marketplace. Because it's new right now, a lot of people are using this facility to do their ads organically. So we have two kinds of adverts. We have inorganic adverts where you put fertilizer, where you pay Facebook money, and then it runs the ad, it accelerates the ads, it makes it go viral, literally. Or you can just easily use what we call the marketplace on Facebook. This is somebody in Cross River. Now, because I, I live around that catchment area, ads around that area will show because my location is Uyo. Um, you see people advertising stuff, it's 360 Naira, uh, 1,000 Naira, Aruchuku, Eket, Akraibob, and so on and so forth. There are electronics, you can also promote there. You can, you can sell particularly even human hair. I'm sure most of you do not know that you can use the marketplace to sell your, you can this, this is advert without, when is selling um, iPhone 12, 450,000 Naira. So you can go here and also sell. You can also go here and sell. How do you sell? Go up to the highest place and click on sell. You know, you create an item, create a listing, and then you go ahead, just follow the instructions, put your picture, and you're good to go. So that's where you can fly, you can reach, you can do something with marketplace and sell organically, all right? Um, you can also sell stuff in um, groups. There are certain market-related groups. There are certain market-related groups. You can create a group. This is where to create a group. You can create a group here, click on that. You can discover groups here. Uh, let's see if we can discover any group. Uh, 
um, markets place. Okay, so I just clicked on marketplace and um, see there's a marketplace group, it's a private group join. You have 1.4 million members. Imagine if I have the opportunity to be part of that marketplace. Sell anything marketplace for buying whatever, whatever. I, I have 273 groups. If I can reach out to the admin and get, get him to do stuff with me, marketplace, the public group, Eket Open Market. Now, this is beautiful. Um, Eket is a city in a bomb, and so people who live in that city have now, we have over 8, 28k people who buy from themselves and look at it there. I can join that group for living in that city and, and, and sell. Within online market is also a group in my city and community. So lots of people have uh, amazing groups. Uyo Open Market, I live in Uyo. Let's go to, let me look at another, another let's look at uh, maybe um, Accra. Let's say Accra open uh, Accra market, online market, let's online uh, market. Let's see if there's anything that shows up. I'm almost certain that something of this nature will be there. A group that you can join. Okay, Accra online shop, Accra, but there are not very many. You have Ghana market online.com. You can join that group. Um, online marketing sales. You can join that group. So I'm sure they should have Accra Market Online, Accra Online stores as a page. Wow, not many people are doing stuff in Accra. So you can create, you can create a group in Accra, and then let us say Accra, let's say Accra Market. Let's not add my online. You can create a group in Accra and have a lot of people join your group. Okay, Accra Arts and Crafts Market. Not so much, not too many people. See, whoops. All right, okay, yeah. Buy, buying, selling, and advertising in Ghana is a private group. You can click there, they'll probably accept you. All right. Um, to be Tom Market Ghana, Nigeria, South Africa, Market Business, I mean, Ghana Fabrics Wholesale, 10K members. I mean, so there's, there's particularly no place, Calabar Fresh Online Carpet uh, Market. So real estate market in Nigeria and Ghana. So you just want to um, go to these places and search and join. One of the fastest ways to grow your, sell your product without running Facebook advertising, paid Facebook advertising is to join groups, to join as many groups as possible. Identify the admin, reach out to them and see how they, they run. Let me see something. Let me see if I can show you something. Um, you will see this one I want to show you. Winning, winning online market. Okay, so this winning online market, what they do is this. I'll show you what they do. They have 41K. So I'm a member of that group. And they have 41,000 people now. Uh, okay. She, this woman, beautiful lady. Uh, people are allowed to see somebody if you ask if it's allowed to advertise and she has 23 comments. People are allowed to advertise. There are times when, um, okay, there are times when you can, there's a, a point where she also allows people to advertise on some of these guys' pay. Some say, I need iron fish and custard content. What's in there? Okay. I've not seen any picture that shows that she allows um, people to advertise. See, people are advertising all kinds of things in groups. And look at this one, has 518 comments. So much you can do by selling their stuff. Reach out to the admin, experience business person, not driver needed, a mature man, blah, blah, blah. Looking for recommendations. You can do a lot with Facebook groups. And that's amazing. This is a market that has a lot of people. I'm looking up for a place where she naturally will advertise and tell people to uh, uh, promote their stuff. If I see it, I'll let you know. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, I haven't seen it yet. But here you go. You know that people promote stuff 
in groups and groups are a very powerful way. The algorithm of Facebook favors grouping. So groups are a very powerful way to do stuff. Okay, I've not seen where she openly says you should promote your stuff this weekend. Okay, I see somebody else. All right, see so this guy is saying, this man's group is saying, uh, okay, so we can buy groceries. Can you imagine that? Amazing. Wow. So become a little more aggressive. You can use groups and avoid Facebook advertising. And um, let me see sponsored ads by these people and see what they have here. So people who pay this, this guy, the owner of this group, he has allowed them to advertise. This man is selling. How many robbers do you need? Call me now for fresh palm oil. Yeah. Sponsored ad in the group. He's just, he's just paying the group admin. You know, I don't know how much they're paying. So you can access, you can also take advantage of these. Groups are very powerful, especially groups that have your target audience. Search for them, join the groups, connect with the admin and start promoting your stuff. So we have done two things today. We've talked about running ads. Ads can only be done through, um, paid ads can only be done through pages. If you don't want to run ads, you can use, you can do the groups thing. You can do groups, you know, either join a group or create your own group. And then from the, these are the groups I've created. Uh, public speaking school, let me show you how many people I have. I have 3K people in that group. Because I have 3,000 people, I can, I can sell stuff, all right? I can sell stuff. Um, you notice that I, I have to give these people permission to, these posts are pending. I have to give them permission whether they should do it or not because I've set my group in such a way, unless I permit you, you cannot advertise. So you can create a group that is a niche focus and like this is for, for public speakers, and only allow public speaking content to be advertised there. And the beautiful thing about public speaking school online um, is that the name public speaking is popular. Anybody that is online will find it, will find, you know, it's searchable, it's looked, it can be easily found. If you search for, uh, let's go to, if you search for public speaking, um, just check for public speaking on uh, public speaking, that's on Facebook. Just check. You probably you see mine will appear, and a few others will appear. A few others will appear. Okay, a few others. You can also um, like, join. If there are groups, you join them and see how they are going and how they are faring. So that's the much we can take for today. I'm sure that you got value. How do you target other countries outside of Africa? And let me take the questions here. How do you, um, okay, someone is saying, how do you take targets? How do you target other countries like African countries? Do you need to target their cities? No, you, you just follow, just follow your heart, you know, but the more targeted you are, the better results you get. Chinese says, which of the objectives is the best result? It depends on what you want to achieve. If you want to give out content, quality content, uh, post engagement is fine. If you want to let people see your videos, video engagement is fine. How do you target other countries like African countries? You just do the same thing. Do you need to spend? No, you don't need to do that. Take talking about website traffic. Is it possible to create a landing page on Blogger and use it to run ads? Yes, 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 yes. How do one get to the marketplace? Experiment and check your Facebook page. All right, guys. Thank you for your time. Let's see if I can take questions. I'll take questions now.